with this one I'm going to do a heart um, and so what I've done I've already glued on uh, where I want my pearly bling to be um, and then just pop them back in the tub so they're out of the way I've got my um, bling and I'm going to start here at the bottom and all you do is now if you don't want to use your hot glue gun you can use your um, glossy accents um, or any glue that's got a nice tip on it so that you can actually work it now you just lay it down flat and ease that in now I might have to pull mine out a little bit to fit that in you just ease it in like that push it in don't try and lay it on top because you're going to get glue everywhere just ease it in like that you never ever get these going in a corner so if you leave a little gap you can put a little bling in there later so that's all you do with that you're easing that in um, again take the glue gun and just you need to wrap it around the next bead so it's easy in again and push it up towards the bead so we need to keep this straightish you know you need to keep the blinks fairly straight make sure it lays flat so hold it with one hand and ease it in with the other like that flies them little midgy flies are everywhere little sods so just keep doing that oops you you manipulate manipulate the bead you know the bling like that like I said you can fill these in that's nothing so we push that in and push it down and then we ease that around like that so I hope you're following this if you can get any closer not sure how close I can get it without it going blurred can we just see can I see that is it blurred hopefully that's all right um again just go round and push it push the bling in like that I mean, you can pick it up and do it so we're just easing that in there like that push that down just get another glue stick and we ease that in try not to press on it like you know too much you're easing it in towards the pearl like that Again, just push that in like that, and then you can pick it up. Like I say, you can pick it up and just maneuver it about where you want it to be. So, flatten that, ease that in. Like that. And again, I'm just going to twist that one off. Like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Isn't that pretty? That's really nice. Now what you can do with this, because it's so flexible, is I'm going to do the inside one as well. So I'm going to fit that in. What was it? Just count how many you need to get that in. 
because you can break this off. You can't tell when it, that it's been broken. Uh, and just, did I do one too many? Hmm. Like that. I think I did one too many on that one. But never mind, that's fine. Um, I'll make the other one the same. <coughs> so don't worry about any excess coming off because you're going to cut this. I'm just filming. Yeah, I did. One too many. Just snip that off. That's all you do. I'm just going to take that one off, I think. No, it's fine. Pop your glue in there. I needed that to curl up slightly, you see. That's it, in there. So manoeuvre it about with your fingers and that. Uh, keep all your little spare ones. Now, I'm just measuring this one. Break off what I need. Hope you can see this. Um, and then, oops, because they do come apart. Oops, I've got that underneath. You silly girl fee. Don't worry, don't panic. Like that, that's it. The glue bit that dulls it. If you get the glue over the diamante, it dulls it, but you can peel that off. Just get them stuck on for now. So we've got that. Now I know this is only going to be a couple. For the next bit there. Like that. On that side as well. And it's great because you can take these apart. Try and join them up as much as possible because the next one will go on from there. So, let's have a look. We're going to need one there. If it's easier for you to do it that way, then do it that way. Put on the bling. Like that. Don't forget they will pull apart slightly. Or push together. Whichever the case may be. I think that was... F now that's got a piece missing. A diamante missing. So I'll take that one off. There, they just fit in perfect. Push them in. Um, so I'm saying five chains do these big, you know, if they're joined together. And then I'm going to do that one first before I do the end one. Oh, Belinda, your parcel arrived, sweetheart, so I will film that shortly. I bought some things from Belinda's Belinda Dewar's Etsy shop. And they're fantastic. She does some awesome work. Now, I'm only going to need two of these. So what I've already got is that one that has one missing. And just use them up. Just squeeze that in there. Right. Now we need little ones just dotted here and there. So there's one on there that I can use.
that's the empty one. I'm just going to put one in there. Like that. Take my ply um, tweezers, not my pliers. And just drop that in. And they're just basically, you're filling up the spaces. So I'm going to match them, make sure that they're the same the other side. Take the tweezers and drop that in there. Again, do the same there. This is why I love the uh, long uh, tip. Where's the thing? On the glue gun, so you can do intricate work like this. Like that. I'm going to cut. How many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. We just do some single ones. One. Okay. I'm just going to pop one in here. Push it down. One in there. I'm also going to do the same in that side as well. I do need one there. There we go. I think we need one there. Just fit them in like that. I think that's it. Yeah. Now I'm not going to go around it again, or shall I? Let me just see what will it look like. I could do. No, I don't think there's any need. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do now is just to trim this off. I'm using these little sharp ones that I got the other day.
that little bit there. And there you go. Done. Move all that to one side. There's another piece done. Oh, sorry, I hope you can see that. Isn't it gorgeous? And you know what? I might hang something from that with a little picture inside. But that's it. Hope that's, hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Have fun.